I was looking over some old videos the other day, and it's been about three months right now, and I just about bet you, I'd almost guarantee you, and bet you even, that most of you all, if not all of you, have stopped stretching your face since that video. You gotta stretch your face. It makes you smile better, it just makes everything better when you stretch your face. Just do it! The old winds guitar. I've been playing a little bit, not very much, but I just don't like these strings on here, man, at all. They are rough city. I don't know what kind of strings they are, but the winding is just really, really rough. I really have been looking over some old videos, and I ran across the review on this guitar. And I was trying to get a light down in there, or a mirror, or something. I was going to show you guys, and I never did get it in there. Never did. The hole's too little. So I thought we'd just do a real quick video. I'm going to loose the strings up on it. Take the endoscope and go down in there. I want to see if it's got ladder bracing or fan bracing. I don't know which it's got. I couldn't see good enough with that lot. That, because uh, I just barely could see in the hole. The hole's so little on it. So let's do that today. I'll hook this thing up. And uh, it's got audio on it. And we'll go down in there and uh, check the bracing out. And see, see what it is. I'll put a light in there so we can see good. And we'll check the inside of the guitar out, see if it's, uh, it's either fan, fan bracing or ladder bracing. I know it's not X bracing. We're going to find out right now. Hold on. Now you see here, here's the camera. I've got it rigged up on this little thing I made to, uh, I can stick that back in the hole and uh, get it oriented right. This is the top of the camera. You know, if I put it on there upside down like that, everything's going to be upside down. This way it's oriented right. And I uh, plug this into my phone, and I'll have to transfer this uh, movie over to the computer and uh, render it, edit it, and render it with this one, the one you're watching right now, which is being made with the camera, because I don't have a computer in here to hook this to, so I have to put it on my phone, transfer it over to the uh, computer, and I can't even use the big light that Davy Joe sent me. It's too big to go in the hole. I do have a smaller one, though, that my dear mom got for me. Got two brightnesses it will fit in there and uh, this has got a light built into it but it, it works okay I guess there's an adjustment right here for it plus a button where I can take pictures if I want still pictures and we use this uh, little light here I think will be plenty maybe I use the one in the camera as a backup if we need it so uh, let's go in I'm going in I'm gonna bring you in with me let's do it Okay, here we go, folks. The audio is not going to be as good on this little camera as it is uh, the big one. But uh, there's you some uh, get you oriented so you know how we're going to go right in the hole. I've already put a light in there. We're going to have a look around inside this big boy guitar. I'm thinking it's got ladder bracing in it. Give me a minute here to get situated. This is very, very hard to do, so bear with me. Uh, what are we looking at? I'm trying to find the tail block. I'm looking down in the lower bout of the guitar. Yeah, there's the tail block. I think, right there. And we want to look up at the top. Yeah, there's the braces. I'm all the way over there. I'm getting over in the dark. Let's get look over where the light is. Yeah, it's ladder bracing. See, there's the brace there. There's three of them. All three of them going across the top. There's, do you see the strip on the right-hand side of your screen? I'm not sure if I'm looking at this right on the phone. 
now I'm disoriented. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, I see what's wrong. Now we're looking straight. Oh, damn, this is tough. Now you can see the uh, tail block. Boy, it's a beefy one, too. Wow. There's the top of the guitar, and you see, as you can see, there ladder bracing going all the way across the side. I didn't know if this guitar had ladder bracing or fan bracing in it. Yeah, you can see there it's definitely ladder. If I back off here a little bit, maybe you can see it better there. I don't know. The glue jobs look a lot better in this guitar than the other one. Well, I say that. Now look at that. Spoke too soon, maybe. That's somewhat better than the, the other one was. I think. That's what it looked like inside. There, maybe you can see the glue job on that rear brace. i get down here a little bit lower. There you can see. If it's glued good. Talking about the one nearest to the center of the screen. I can't get down low enough. There. There we go. Wow, this camera's hard to hold still. And everything just changed. But definitely is uh, ladder bracing. Come around to the side and look up to the top. There's one brace. There's another. Maybe you can see the glue job on this second one here. I'm trying to hold that camera as still as I possibly can, but it's hard to do on the end of a stick. Yeah, I can't tell. Yeah, there's a lot of squeeze out. Quite a lot of squeeze out on that brace. Lots of squeeze out. Well, it does have ladder bracing. I've been wondering about that for quite some time now. And now, finally, we know. It's got ladder bracing on the back of the guitar too, as most acoustics do. Not all of them, mind you, but most of them. I don't know if that light I put in there is helping or hurting. And the neck block. That right there in the center of your screen is the back of the guitar and coming up here there's the there's the neck block I can't show you the top of it I don't think uh, barely because there's such little room to work there I would like to see what that is on that neck block though right there see what I'm talking about if I can find it again I see some uh, squeeze out that never got wiped at all. I saw something there in question. Dang, man. If I could only find it again, I'd like to see what that was. That's the neck block itself. There's the top of it. Well, I'm not seeing that thing I saw a few minutes ago. We're looking back up to the top now. There the neck block is. Whatever that was I saw, I don't know, man, what that was. I think that was it. That big chunk of glue right there, if that's what that is. There's the tail block. I don't know why it looks so funky. Okay, there you can see it. Way back in yonder. That's a brace on the top of the guitar. Two of them. You can see the glue work there. Right now you're looking at the tail block and the top of the guitar. That's the top. 
there's the bottom, the back. There's the tail block. That's that's the back and a back brace. And there's the tail block and there's the top of the guitar. Let's check the glue on this this brace. I don't know, a lot of squeeze out in there. You know that affects the sound of a guitar. Whether that's uh, cleaned up good or not. There's, there's the tail block again. Check that glue out. Squeeze out! Lots of beautiful squeeze out. Hold on. It's still looking at the top. That wood looks funky right there. Like it's got chalk or something on it. I don't know. Maybe it's glue that ran down the side. That's the side of the guitar we're looking at now. And I don't know what that funky stuff is on it. See what I mean? It looks like chalk. Yeah, no idea. It's all over that complete lower bounce side. Whatever it is, is all around this lower bout down here on the side of the guitar. Around the lower bout and the side of it, whatever it was. Look like chalk, hold on. So there you go, folks. A quick look down inside the winds um, gypsy jazz guitar I need to rig me up another something to hold that camera in place it's, that's a pain man that is really tough trying to hold that camera down in there keep it oriented in such a way that you guys can see what's going on this is just a string thing to hold the strings out of the way while we look Anyways, I'm going to take the strings back up for this baby in case until I can get some strings for it. Those strings, I don't know why they're so rough. I've never seen them with strings like that before. I don't know what brand they are. It didn't, they came on the guitar. They're brand new. They're just very rough. I get a new set of strings for it, and we're going to check the setup on this guitar again. That's down the road sometime, whenever I get the strings. And uh, I already forgot what it had on it now. I might go with a little bit lighter gauge than what it's got, and that's going to require... To be set up again or checked at least anyways i hope you enjoyed that little trip inside it's got ladder bracing i was pretty sure it would have there's a chance it could have been fan braced but i wanted to know and i figured if i'm going to look you guys might want to know too so i'll try to show you as best i can cheers thanks for watching stay tuned uh, we're going to get on that epiphone guitar soon and check for those loose braces i don't think they're loose but uh it sure looked like it in that video, but I think it was the dust in that guitar was making shadows along the braces and made it look loose. We're going to have feelers gauge and check that. Uh, cheers. See you in a few. Let's do it! Damn, this is tough.